Hello and welcome back to Boxing Social in association with Betfred. My name is Eamon Khan and I'm here with David Adelaide, Big D, who's just come off with a victory against Dominic Musil to send the fans home happy at your call. First of all, David, how's life treating you? Good, can't complain. Um, getting a day by day and that's the main thing. Well, getting a day by day, by day and you finished this day with a win uh, over Dominic Musil. Um, talk me through your performance. What were you seeing in there um, that led you to getting that um, rec well corner stoppage win? I was just learning, I was just looking for certain things. I could have went there and just kept letting my hands go and start throwing certain punches and got him out of there, but I mean, I wanted to kind of look, look and look and look for certain shots and see how, you know, and see how the, what they'll do when, once they landed and whatnot. And um, yeah, I hit him with a right hand slip, I slipped right hand, hurt him. Um, and the referee stopped it after the fourth round in his corner. I mean, if, if he got it for the fifth round, I think it would have been a good, good round because I would have properly let my hands go and aced him, but. Yeah, that's right. Do you feel you sent a little bit of a message there, Dominic? I think he's only been stopped by Dane Dempsey McKean, who's had 14 pro fights, a uh, bit more kind of established in his career at the moment. So have you sent a bit of a message there, getting that victory here? I think so. But I mean, I'll start sending more messages when I start stepping up in opposition. When these boys start that event tired of me, start fighting me, I think I'll do more of a statement then. Do you feel that bit of a little bit of extra pressure tonight, being that it's your call? Go ahead, <laughs> your call headlining. The crowd were there. You want to send them home happy as well? I mean, a lot of people do, but not me. I mean, I'm, it's a dust up, a dust up, a dust up. You know, um, it's fighting. What advice, get... what advice were you getting in uh, in between rounds from your corner there in terms of breaking down your opponent as well? Just to relax, relax, have fun in there, and pick for, look for certain shots, and that's what I was trying to do. Look for certain shots. Um, I probably waited a bit too long. I was a bit too patient because the last time I was rushing, so this time I tried to be patient. I was probably a bit too patient now, but um, like I said, I'm learning, learning on the job. With that learning, I mean, a couple of if we rewind a couple of fights back, there was a, quite a bit of criticism from the boxing public regarding the fight with Sokolowski. Do you feel like you've kind of shown that you've learned from that fight and you've shown what you want to show in the ring like you did tonight? Yeah, but I'll prove it more as not as tight as as the fights go on. But um, look, people can have something bad to say regardless. Mm -hmm. You know, they're doing their job, I'm doing my job. I can't be mad at a hater for hating on me. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. I try to fight certain people and everyone pulls out. I don't know why these fights don't happen, so, yeah. And in terms of, obviously, there's a lot of uh, British prospects that are trying to get their name, trying to climb up the ladder there. Where do you think you kind of land in amongst all the prospects? Top. Yeah, top. Fair enough, no, no, fair enough. I saw a message um, of support uh, to early today on Instagram from Tyson Fury, uh, send, sending him so, uh, sending you love and uh, support for your fight tonight. It must be nice getting that support and someone of Tyson Fury's stature casting his eye over you as well. Yeah, no, Tyson's like a, he's like a mentor because, I mean, I look, I talk to Tyson a lot, ask him certain things. The man's at the top of the tree. You've got to learn from people like that. Um, so, yeah, man, the man's always available for me to speak to. So, yeah, there's always love with Tyson, man, every time. And how about you in terms of uh, getting out next? What do you want for yourself? Yeah, I'd fight next week if I really could. That's just the truth. Just about learning, man. Learning, learning, learning and staying active. And with that win, do you think you sent that message like, to those other prospects that you're the, on top of? Yeah, I mean, if I don't, then they'll come and fight me soon. I mean, listen, we're all on a collision course, man. I ain't want to shy away. Uh, Big D, congratulations on your win tonight. Also, I wanted to shout you out for something as well. Last time you fought on the Jojo Takam bill, you were, on the, you were the only fighter to go to the crowd and uh, have a picture with the kids. I noted that down and I rated you for that. So, uh, appreciate seeing that. Uh, obviously, the kids love that sort of stuff. So, congratulations on your win. I rate you for that as well. All the best. Thank you for the Boxing Social. No worries. Top man. No worries.